Welcome back to the Lost Facility devlog series. And this will be devlog number five. This video is going to be kind of brief and we're gonna take a look at uh, some of the height field work that we've done over the last week. So we're getting closer and closer to finalizing our final terrain. Um, the project files will be available on Patreon for this as normal, so all the updated stuff. And I'm going to kind of just briefly go over kind of what I've done. So I streamed most of this last week, um, so you can watch that stream if you're interested. But I've kind of changed what I'm, or where I'm at at least, as far as what we ended off on in the stream. That's kind of being this, this height field that's behind where our facility is going to be. So I set up this height field originally. Let's take a look. Actually, let's look at the transform. So I had this, this height field that was set up um, that was going to just kind of be in the, the background. And it was just going to be kind of a, a cliff face on the back side. And I've mixed together just a bunch of different terrains here, or a couple of different ones, I should say. So um, just a canyon wall that I've made inside Gaia, and then a second one that we're kind of just moving around and projecting onto a, a height field to get this final result. And this, this would work, but I'm... I'm not liking that it's just kind of a giant, um, like a giant wall on the backside of where our facility would be. So we could see it, we would have kind of this. So it would kind of look like it's in a, in a ravine type thing, which I'm not really sure that I want. Uh, although this does look uh, pretty decent as far as um, meshing the overall terrain in the, this canyon here and having it having it look like it's in a similar biome or the same biome but i think that i like this better where we have a a height field over here that is good more like a mountain in the background and i'll probably stick a couple of these and i'm not sure whether this is the the final one that i'll use i have a couple of different ones that i have been messing around with. I was trying to find out which one kind of gave me the best results as far as uh, detail and I don't know they all kind of look okay I guess uh, but I was just kind of messing around with the different things and seeing what we'd get and the project file for Gaia that I will include in the Patreon is going to be this height field not this one right here but once it loads in here, give it a moment. There we go. It'll be this height field right here, I think. Um, I kind of just kept messing around with the file and going further and further into it. Uh, but I'll give you all three of these height fields. I'll give you all of the height fields that I created. That, um, I was just kind of meshing and trying to figure out which one worked the best, which one gave me the best results, and which gave me the most um, cohesive height field for the terrain that we're working on. And then the other thing that I started to do is down here, I've started to mix these all into one height field and I don't honestly know which one ended up being the one that I got further on. I think I was starting to do stuff there, but I'm starting to just mesh them all into one height field and I was messing around, I guess, with the different um, the blends here so basically all I'm doing is taking our original height field here which is just added some knolls in here so our canyon um, our desert floor and then I'll add that in later but I've taken our height field here and over here this is kind of an interesting thing uh, I'm taking this height field projection and let me just bypass this for the moment so we have this height field that's um, raised too far so just to bring that down oops to bring that down I've got a height field bop here and all I've done is subtracted a constant 
and that just allows me to bring that down to a more closely flush with our just regular height field that we have right here. And this height field is huge. It's a 5,000 by 5,000. Should be large enough to cover most of everything that's gonna be in the scene. And like I said, I'm starting to mix these height fields together. And I was playing around with this. So I'm not sure whether I want to have it mesh into the original height field and then we project on the um, the canyon floor or if I want to mesh it by mixing it into the canyon floor, floor directly. Obviously there's uh, some seam issues here which we can kind of fix. I don't know. Nope, oh, that's the opposite array. Let's just bypass that for the moment. Or so it's like 50, I don't know. Whatever I had set up here with our mask, I was messing around with. Yeah, but I'm just in the process of, of starting this. So I haven't really figured this out as far as how I wanna go about making this all mesh together yet. So give me some time on that. And ultimately what I'm going to do is the reason I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to put this all into one train instead of having a couple that we're just merging together like I have up here is because I want to have a cohesive mesh that ultimately, let's just look at this one for the moment. The ultimately we can drop in some height field um, mask by features, right? So if I drop in a mask by feature here and I don't know, we got some stuff here. Let's try mask by Curvature, that's not what I'm looking for. Let's see if we can get something that gives me more what I'm looking for. Eh, I'm not really getting it too much. Let's do maybe occlusion. No, it's not really working. Okay, let's just do slope and we'll drop that. There we go. So now we've got a little bit of of each, right? So then we can drop down a uh, height field tile, I believe. And that should keep the tiles, I believe. Yeah, so or the, the masks. So it keeps the masks. So I think we're gonna need this for ultimately, let's just set this like two by two. Ultimately for um, texturing. So that's kind of why I'm sticking with this idea because I want to be able to grab the mask and use those inside of um, our render. And it can also allow me to just um, optimize things a little bit better, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but that's kind of where I'm at with the project as it stands right now. Uh, but I will go ahead and drop these project files on Patreon. Like I said, you'll get um, these height fields as well as the project file for them and this overall project file that we have for Houdini here. But I haven't really done anything um, other than that. I've just kind of started to, to mesh them all into one terrain and then I was testing out a bunch of different things as far as these height fields go. So we'll see how those end up. But anyways, I will continue to work on this and keep uh, updating this as we go. Hopefully, like I said we're starting to get towards the end of creating our height fields, and in the future, I am you know I'm learning a lot with this project, and hopefully you guys are learning um, a decent amount with this project as well, and um, we can find some best practices on kind of what to do and or like some optimized workflows at the very least. So. Um, all we have left as far as once we get this kind of finalized, if we get this all into one terrain, I liking where this is, uh, we'll have to set up our camera move. So we'll need some just off of where I'm thinking in my brain, we'll need some terrain back here, just some background stuff and then some stuff over here as well, but nothing super, super complex. We'll just have some other things that uh, we won't worry about meshing all together. We'll just toss them back there and they should be far enough in the background that you won't be able to really tell um, where they're at as far as whether they're 
our seams in between the terrains or whatever. So that's another reason I'm trying to push them all into one terrain is just to get the, the seams a little bit less um, visible, I guess. So anyways, hopefully this project is still interesting to you guys. I know it's kind of moving a little bit slow, but this is kind of the first major like massive scene that I've I've done inside Houdini, so I'm not really sure uh, kind of what the best workflows are. So we're kind of discovering that as we go. So anyways, like I said, the project file is available on Patreon. You can grab all that on there if you are interested. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.